in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video about roaches. Uh, what we have here is today I'll be showing you um, two species from the same genus. Uh, this genus is called Rhabdoblata and the as adults they look like leaves but uh, the particularities of um, of these species is that um, as nymphs they are known to they are known to live near streams and rivers uh, they can be found underwater under the stones in these small uh, streams and they will also uh, seek refuge underwater. Um, this is my colony of Rhabdoblata imperatrix. If I'm not mistaken, it's the largest of the genus and it's from China. Unfortunately, these are nymphs, these are not adults. The nymphs cannot uh, climb plastic or glass but the adults uh, surely can, and they do it uh, quite well. Um, another interesting thing is, these are real forest roaches, and they consume a lot of leaf litter and dried leaves, as you can see here. And it reminds me of the movie Snatch, when uh, the bad guy is talking about feeding humans to pigs and that they go through bone, meat and bone like butter. These roaches seem to have a similar capacity when it comes to processing all of this uh, fiber because as you can see here wait, let me bring more light all of these pellets is basically poop and it doesn't take them long to go through all of this I have been spending bags and bags of leaf litter just trying to feed the uh, keep thing, keeping them healthy and and making sure that they are well fed but this is the the end result uh, tons and tons of poop and another thing uh, that's interesting about this species and I have to give a special shout out again to TJ, the invertebrate dude, otherwise I would not be able to keep this species properly, is the amount of humidity that uh, this species or the species inside this genus seem to need to be um, to develop properly and um, Following his directions, I, I have here a, an enclosure, as you've seen before, with a ton of ventilation, but a big amount of substrate, leaf litter, and everything very humid to replicate the conditions in which they live in nature. So, this is the first species I wanted to show you, the biggest, if I'm not mistaken again, of the Radoblata genus, Radoblata imperatrix. I'm waiting for the adults to show up and I think they will be massive. And now moving on to a species which I just got today, just arrived. Let me just prepare this. So this is called um, Radoblata gyroflexa so I got nine individuals the males black with this uh, colorful pernotum similar to a shield and the females very clear and looking like a leaf so this species 
and like the Imperatrix exhibits a sexual dimorphism uh, in the adult stage and I think they're absolutely stunning the the scientists when uh, they ID or they created this new identification for this species had only seen the males the females are are not uh, were not found were not identified and they are not present in the research paper which uh, attributes the name to this species and now I'll show you a closer look to each of the uh, adult stages I have here on the side as you can see they can climb pr pretty well they can fly and jump um, as adults so <clears throat> here we are let me just prepare this a little bit hopefully they will not fly away let's see how this goes maybe too strong so this is the male I think the light is the wings ending on those two tips and the pronotum with this shield that gives it its name, Gyroflexa. He seems to be stretching his wings, so let's put him back and focus on the female, the most interesting, the most interesting of the pair. Please don't run away, it would ruin the video. <clears throat> let's see if she stays I think the light is not helping. I would like to shine some light but not too much. Just showing to show you the coloration. So you're seeing this firsthand. The the scientists have never seen the females. So here it is. I think you can observe the the two tips ending in a similar way the shape of the wings and everything and how well they climb so yeah I got nine individuals I, I, I didn't count them all really well I don't know if it's four males five females or vice versa and before the, the video gets ruined I'll collect this um, female and now she's going inside the other yeah, the species in the enclosure, which is not a very good idea. So I'll wrap, wrap up the video now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And for those who are interested, I have the I have opened the Discord for roach keeping, and the link is down in the description below. Feel free feel free to join. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.